Established by the United Nations as an independent organization in 1957, the International Atomic Energy Agency serves 168 member countries as the world's foremost forum for scientific and technical cooperation in the peaceful use of nuclear technology. As part of their non-proliferation mission, IAEA's network of analytical laboratories help assure the safe, secure, and peaceful use of nuclear technologies through collaborative measurements on test samples and reference materials around the globe. In 2017, the Savannah River National Laboratory was named the only United States member of IAEA's Network of Analytical Laboratories for Nuclear Material Accountancy Measurements. SRNL's analytical laboratories at DOE Savannah River Site F area have a long tradition of meeting and exceeding stringent international standards. For over 40 years, we've been in the business of measuring uranium plutonium, accountability measurement for the Department of Energy. We have about 80 methods here in the laboratory, and any of those methods can be called on any day, and samples can come any time. We're 24 hour operations. So we got people out here seven days a week, 365 days a year. Our main mission is to provide timely, accurate, and precise analyses to our internal customers. So we can accept just about any type of sample. We have expertise in a variety of measurements, like both mass spectrometry methods, spectroscopy methods, counting methods, and also radiochemistry methods. So we have the capability to provide a variety of analytical services. NWAL certification isn't simple. IAEA evaluated the analytical laboratory's methodologies and entire quality control program. And even though SRNL has supported the agency in varying capacities for 20 plus years, no leeway was given. A series of proficiency exercises and IAEA visits began a six-year process that challenged both equipment and personnel. So to be an accepted laboratory for IAEA, first you have to have the right kind of instrumentation that's state-of-the-art for the measurements that they want to perform. We have thermal ionization mass spectrometers, we have control potential coulometers. We receive plutonium and uranium samples They'll have in-growth products of americium and neptunium, but the primary desire is to measure the plutonium or uranium concentration or isotopic abundance. We can measure uranium by Davis-Gray, we can measure plutonium assay by coulometry, and we measure isotope ratios by thermal ionization mass spectrometry for both the plutonium and uranium. We can also look at impurities should they have any other requests using our inductively coupled plasma mass spectrometers. So we're uniquely qualified to do this work because of the equipment that we operate, but more so than that of the personnel and the training of the people that we have. There aren't a ton of competitors who can work in the radiological environment with special nuclear materials and obtain the precision and accuracy in their analysis that we can do. With the NWAL certification, SRNL can also receive IAEA inspection and evaluation samples in the event of an outage or during peak periods at IAEA's Vienna Laboratory. Moreover, SRNL and their employees are proud to help promote the peaceful use of nuclear technologies while expanding their role as an internationally recognized analytical laboratory. It was a six-year process, and so we have a better program than we had six years ago, and that benefits our customers in quality. If you have better quality, you're more cost-effective. Being part of NWAL gives us recognition from an outside customer. It pushes us to do the best we can. We're all very grateful for the important work that the International Atomic Energy Agency does to support the secure, peaceful use of nuclear technologies across the globe. You know, moreover, our lab is very proud to have been closely supporting them for the last two decades or more. But this recent announcement of inviting our laboratory to be part of their network of analytical labs, in fact, to be the only U.S. lab to be invited to join that group, 
really raises the level of our partnership. We've always known that our SRNL folks who work in the F area lab are the best in the world at what they do. Well, this announcement clearly shows that the rest of the world would agree.